What if I told you there's a breakfast creation that's about to become your new obsession? Imagine a breakfast that not only tastes amazing, satisfies your cravings, but boosts your brain power, fuels your body and mind, and gives you the energy and focus you need to conquer the day ahead, all while delighting your senses and leaving you savoring every last morsel. Today, we've got a recipe that's going to do just that. Blow your mind and boost your brain power. Introducing the Whole Food Lion's Mane Mushroom Sausage Scramble Breakfast that is easy to make at home and so healthy and delicious, you'll be adding it to your menu on a regular basis. These patties are not your ordinary sausages. They're made with lion's mane mushrooms, known for its brain boosting properties. So let's get stuck in. First, we're gonna start with some flavor building blocks. I've added some cloves, fennel seeds, and black peppercorns into the mortar and pestle to pulverize into palatable little bits. We start with two baseball-sized lion's mane mushrooms, and these ones I got from a grow kit from Marvelous Mushrooms here in the UK. Full recipe and ingredient list will be in the description, as usual. Of course, no sooner I start cooking and the princess of Welland decides she wants to play rugby again, her favorite game. She loves tossing that ball. So of course I oblige, and while I'm out there, I'm gonna pick some of this fresh thyme, sage, and orega, oregano, oregano. I always mess that word up since being in the UK. While I'm in the garden, and of course, entertaining the queen that she is. Just a quick rinse, wash, pick, and chop of these fresh herbs and what will be added to the sausage seasoning marinated here shortly. We're gonna work our magic with the Sarno Sear pressing method where we place a cast iron skillet on the medium high heat until it's hot. We'll drizzle some olive oil blend, let it heat up until it's sizzling. We'll lay these mushrooms down on the skillet, give them some gentle love with a quick splash of water to make sure we get that heat level up there. And then we're gonna add the additional pan on top and start the pressing process. We're gonna do this a few couple times, a couple few times, be patient with it. See that nice searing that happens? By adding that extra pan on top adds that extra evenness and makes sure it's all cooked perfectly. And you wouldn't believe how much liquid and water comes out of these mushrooms because they are mostly water. So by pressing it, it creates this amazing meaty-like texture that's gonna be perfect for this breakfast sausage patty. After you press them a couple times, season the side that you put onto the heated side first so it doesn't get on the top of the pan. Keeps it cleaner, easier to deal with. A little bit of extra oil, because there's no fat in mushrooms at all, so I'm trying to add that. I want that mouthfeel at the end of this, and then that'll be it. Me and my OCD, like trying to keep things clean while we're going, so I don't have to clean up later, and I can just head out the door. These are perfect. So I'm gonna add them to a bowl. I'm gonna add the chopped thyme, sage, and oregano, and the rest of the sausage seasoning to the mixing bowl along with the cooked patties. Drizzle some more olive oil onto them. Let them marinate. The longer, the better. This is where the magic really happens. Infusing that sausage flavor into the texture of this mushroom makes it amazing. I'm adding a touch more olive oil to make it more of a marinade than a paste and make sure it's completely covered in it to absorb all the seasonings. After that is marinated for at least 30 minutes and it's always best if overnight. We're gonna turn this whole bland block of tofu into an epic flavor bomb. I'm gonna remove it from the pack and I've said this before, I'm not a big fan of tofu pressing or extra gadgets, so I'm just gonna use my own two hands. Now this is the organic Wicked Kitchen tofu that's sold in Tesco right now and it is perfect for this scramble. Heat up the pan to get nice and hot, add a couple pads of butter, butter the toast that I'll be toasting in a minute, and I'm gonna let the tofu sit and sizzle away on this for a while. It's gonna form a really nice crust, trust me. And it's super easy. I add all the seasonings to the top of it, add a few of the cherry tomatoes around it, and just let it cook. Look at how perfectly it slides across that pan. These are well-seasoned cast iron pans. I love them. I use them for every day, almost every single thing, unless I'm boiling pasta or something. I love them. Here's the fun part. Once you get that crust nice 
and thick on the bottom. You can start breaking it apart and scrambling it and just incorporating all those seasonings to cover every single piece on here. I like to leave some big chunks, some, some lighter. This is super fluffy, super crispy. It's got all those edge pieces in it, the soft, fluffy center. It's pretty awesome. Totally satisfies breakfast cravings. And here is the Wicked Kitchen new mac and cheese launched in the US, coming to the UK soon. Keep an eye out. The tomatoes cook perfectly this way. I can't say enough about this breakfast. It is so good. Try to keep everything in the pan. I'm just popping the lion's mane patties right on here, heating it all up in the oven. I pop the toast in there to give it a crisp. Prep up the avocado here on the side. And then we're gonna just start plating up. I know I'm prepping two avocados. I'll only use one on the plate. I'll feed some to Miss Frankie here. Everything is looking absolutely fantastic. Just cutting the toast, plate this up like a fancy breakfast I might have in a restaurant, but it's my house. Good healthy portion. Save the rest for later. I'll slice this up for the camera. And just look at how meaty and texture. It is freaking hot. I'm burning my fingers here. It was probably too hot. I should have waited a second, but nevertheless, got to taste it. Super juicy. Super flavorful with all those seasonings really penetrating in. A little bit of avocado on there. There's my finished breakfast. I'll step aside, take a couple photographs for this. Use my favorite coffee mug, have some coffee. I enjoy mine with a little bit of oat milk. And we're gonna enjoy breakfast. And honestly, this is one of the better, best breakfasts I've had. Breakfasts, breakfasts. Super meaty, super satisfying. I'll probably have this once every couple weeks, maybe once a month. It's well worth it. I'll end this show with the lovely Miss Frankie, Miss America. And then also at the very end, I got a special thing with the tongs for all the people asking me about hot and clam. Here we go.